Hello everyone, Adam here with another McGregor update. Let's jump right in and talk about this record-breaking tripod test. So this Raptor 2 engine test performed a static test fire for 330 seconds. Wow, that's a five and a half minute long static test fire with three minutes of that being electric thrust vector control. You're probably asking why five and a half minute burn time? We believe that time frame is likely to be the ballpark for Starship's orbital insertion burn. Now for your next question is probably what is the thrust vector control part for? The TVC is being tested on the Raptor engine so that the Starship can do its flip maneuver and for positioning to land the Starship and booster just like you see with the Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 booster. So if you look closely on the frame to the right here, you can actually see the Raptor engine maneuvering around inside the tripod. Now if you look at the clock in the top left, this is actually all in real time. This is not sped up. Now this is a new test where they're performing electric thrust vector control versus the old hydraulic. Incredible speed there. Now we're going to go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch the next two minutes of it not moving. So this Raptor tripod test is 92 seconds in length and this profile includes throttling of the Raptor engine. Let's watch. You can see it throttle up right there. Still maintaining a high thrust. And see it throttle back down. Look at the Mach Diamond stretch back in. And there's another throttle down where they stretch even further back in. Look at the mock diamonds. Now 
And there they stretch back down, throttling back up. There we have it. Here's a short Raptor horizontal firing. Just listen to the Raptor crackle. Wow, incredible sound. Now let's swing over to the vertical test stand where the Raptor test profiles are more consistent. This is because this is where they perform quality control checks of the Raptor engine before shipping them out to Starbase. So this is the second time in less than a month that we've seen a stage two illuminate the night sky after 9 p.m., which is their curfew. Basically, this shows how mission critical it is that they get these stage twos tested and performed and pushed out that they actually will pay a fine to the city of McGregor during that time period. This is a standard 220 second Merlin vacuum firing that they test before they go and install these onto the stage two. A new deluge component was installed at the Raptor Horizontal stand near the Northwest Bay. As you can see from Gary's photo, the Northwest Bay doesn't have a Raptor engine, but something much smaller. Now here's that test and it's hard to tell but there's also a test of that smaller component here is another thrust vector control from april 5th on the tripod test stand we'll speed this one up That's it for this McGregor update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.